guys, welcome back to my channel and another Topic Tuesday here. Today's topic is what polish colors do you think look the best on you? So I have some colors that I think that personally I like the look of on myself as well as two examples for each color. And then I figured why not talk about the polish colors I think look terrible on me, but I wear them anyways because I don't care. I know there's some kind of like color theory stuff or you know whatever that goes along with or lends itself to colors looking good or bad on us and it all depends on you know our skin tone our undertone maybe your hair color plays into that too i'm not really sure and while i don't think that this explicitly matters and we should all wear what we want i think we can all recognize when a color kind of looks funny on us and uh so that's what i'm here to talk about and the topic was only for colors that you know you think look good on you but you guys know I love ugly things and so like even if a color looks absolutely hideous on me I'm still going to wear it. In fact, I'm probably more likely to wear it because for some reason looking ugly ironically is just funny to me. So let me talk you through all my color choices and I will show you the swatches as well. So the first color that I find I really am attracted to to wear and like I think looks really good on me not to sound like narcissistic through this whole video, is like dusty or muted reds. I think that these look really professional on me, you know, and like it's like the one red that I can tolerate wearing on a regular basis because it's it's got like all the qualities of a pink, like when you take it off where it doesn't get everywhere or it doesn't stain my skin, but it's still in that red tone. And you know, like I said, it looks professional, but despite the fact that I have kind of like pinker leaning or like red leaning skin. I have like, I don't know if you guys can tell, I kind of have a little bit of rosacea going on here. Despite all that, I still find that these reds don't look or clash with my skin tone. Like I have this sweater that I wear to work that is kind of like, it's a little darker than some of these, but it's it's in that like dusty, mauvey, reddy kind of vein. And I love it so much that I would probably wear that sweater to work every single day in the week if that wasn't absolutely disgusting. You know, like I'm like a cartoon character. I find something I like and then I just buy like nine of them and then I just wear that over and over, except for shoes. I'm, I don't do that with shoes. It's just everything else. Like same pair of jeans, nine times, okay? So my examples for this are going to be, one is a recent one. This is Orly's Parks and Parasols. This came out in their spring collection. And kind of similarly, I have Essie's Eternal Optimist and this is actually the color that really turned me on to this colorway and the Liking the color on myself. The weird thing though is like the pigment on this one I don't know if you guys can yeah, you can definitely see no matter how much I shake it up There's that weird Honestly, this one kind of looks like the color of my hand Um, but no matter how much you shake it up. It has that weird like yellow Blob of pigment at the bottom and I think it's weird that it's separated like that, but it doesn't affect the nail polish, it's just, it it looks gross in the bottle. The second color that I think looks really, really good on me is mustard yellows. And I've said this before, but I just love the way mustard yellow looks against like my hair. I don't know if it's because that's like a yellow that has like brown in it to bring it down to that mustardy color. And because I have brown hair, they kind of just go well together. I say this all the time, but I just feel like I want knitwear in that color. I feel like it's the perfect yarn color. I don't know why. I just see it and I think of like chunky cable knit, uh, like sweaters and hats and things like that. And so I have two here for you. First of all, I have Proboscis Monkey by Dimension Nail and or Dimension Nails, plural. And this one I got because I won a giveaway for a gift card to Dimension Nails and I wanted a color like this and I was like pining after China Glaze's Mustard the Courage and so I was like let me get this as if like I couldn't just buy China Glaze's Mustard the Courage and I wore this one matte and it is perfect it is really really pretty and I I like the brand Dimension Nails I think I only have three from them but like just their ethics seem really cool, really good, and like I love how like reduce, reuse, recycle they are about stuff. And I like the square bottles because they fit together so well. But I do this, I do this every time I pull this bottle out, but like look, look how perfect that is with my hair. <laughs> and then eventually I did end up buying Mustard the Courage. And honestly, you know, I could justify both. 
I can justify having both. This one is like just a little bit more orangey leaning. And then this one is like the true like mustard yellow that I was pining after. So I had to have both, you know what I mean? And they both, they both look pretty good on me, I think. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Somebody who knows about color theory, tell me why this looks so good on me, okay? And honestly, already I'm kind of seeing a theme like these are just like dustier, like murkier colors. I don't know, maybe that's just, is that a personal preference or is that just what looks good on me? I guess I don't know. The next color family I have that I think looks really good on me is like a painter's tape blue. And I talked about this a little bit in my Essie faves because one of these polishes was also in that video. And I think that I look good in like most blues to be honest, but there's something about this particular type where it's like, it can be dark, but it's also very vibrant. And I really like that on me. I think it's probably just because I wear a ton of black and I feel like it looks good with black. So of course I mentioned this in my Essie faves, but this is Butler Please. And this one, even though it's like kind of in that painter's tape family, I feel like it has just a hint, like a hint of purple in it. And it makes it look a little bit glowier than your typical painter's tape blue. Um, and then we have your more traditional painter's tape blue, or what I also sometimes call the blue screen of death blue. Um, if you're old enough to remember that, I I kind of am. And this is To Be Frank Nails Evil Eye. And this is honestly perfect. I bet like if I got some painter's tape and I put it on the bottle, it would disappear right into the bottle. And I really like the caps on these because like these are so chunky. So if you have any sort of like issue gripping stuff, I think that this might be um, a brand to check out. They are a little bit on the expensive side, but they are vegan and made in the US, cruelty free and all that. And I've had really good luck with them, but perfect, perfect blue screen of death blue right here. And the last color category that I find looks really good on me. And actually I, after I made my list, I ended up looking up um, just like what colors look good on them? people with brown hair and stuff. And this color category was in that and it is jewel tones. I really love rich jewel tones cause it's like, they're darker colors, but they're not like dark, dark, you know? Like you can see, they have like a glow within kind of a property to them. And I really like that about certain colors. I just like, did any of you guys ever play with Legos as a kid? You remember like the little treasure chest you could get and they had the mini like gold coins and then they had the tiny jewels that were, I think like just red, green, blue, maybe they had a yellow one, but I loved those jewels and I would always go through my brother's Legos <laughs> and steal all the treasure chests and all the little gold coins and all of those jewels and I'll put them all in the treasure chest because I, I love, maybe I'm like, maybe I'm a crow or something. I just like shiny things, but yeah, I, I love jewel tone stuff. So I have two here to share with you. The first one is uh, Orly's Nouveau Riche. And this came out two holidays ago in their winter collection. This was in like a Gatsby-esque inspired collection. And it is, it's got like a beetle shell kind of look to it. It's a little bit textured because it's like, you know, a little bit glittery. It's got a bit of a like duochrome effect to it. And it's just, it's really fun. I really like it. And I think, you know, again, looks good with, uh, you can't really see because it's a little bit dark, but I think it looks really good, especially in contrast with my skin tone. I think that like these deeper jewel toned greens look really good on me. And I have read in the past that like green looks good on brown haired people or people with brown eyes as well. And lucky me, I got both. So I think maybe that's why I feel like this one is, you know, one that I'm drawn to. And then we have one that is newer to my collection, and this is my first, but certainly not my last, Wildflower Lacquer. And this one is called Stolen Flame, and it is this perfect kind of sapphire blue with like just a hint, like a flip of purple in there. I pulled, I pulled the, the cap off, and I was like, Oh my God, there is so many flakes in this. This is so thick. I'm going to hate this. I can't believe like this brand has so much hype behind it and it's going to suck and I'm going to be like the one jerk who doesn't like it. And then I started painting it on my nails and I was like, oh, this goes on so thinly, like perfectly, 
you only need like one coat of this thing. The flakies lie so flat. They're not so overbearing that you have this like textured dry down and they smooth out so well. And I was like, oh my God, where, where has this been all my life? And um, let me just say that the hype, the hype is real. Okay. So I love these kind of sapphire blues and this one is it, like, you know, it's called Stolen Flame. It does look like one of those blue, like, it does have that resemblance to that, like, blue flame, you know, and I just loved it. I wore it matte, and it was just perfect. So those are all the colors that I feel look best on me. Let me know if you agree with any of those. I won't be offended if you're like, Hillary, that actually looks hideous on you. Sometimes I need somebody to tell me, like, whoa, girl, slow down. You look ugly, all right? Everybody needs that bestie in their life. Mine is NYX Polish. I just feel like he'd be honest with me if I was wearing something really ugly. So Nick, you better tell me. Now we're going to move on to colors that I feel look really hideous on me and I still wear them anyways. Well, let's start with the one I don't wear and that would be white polish. I actually have a strong bias against white nail polish. I just, it does not look good on me. I was thinking about like making some stickers to sell and I thought about commissioning a design where it's like, you know, like a hand in like a hand pose, but the nails are just teeth. But I don't know if that would be too creepy for you guys. Like for me, I would love that, but I just feel like maybe my, uh, most of my subscribers are not as like creepy weird as me, but I could be wrong. So let me know if you guys like that idea and I might actually have some of those stickers made. I got some other ideas too, but like that's the one where I'm like, mm, I'm a little hesitant. But I do have a couple swatches for you just to share. And the first one is, I don't have many swatches of white polishes because I just don't love to wear them. So the ones that I do have on hand, I have Crete's, um, what is this one called? Sheet Rock, right? Yeah, Sheet Rock. And this one dries down a little bit matte. Um, it was like, okay, I really was excited about this brand. This was Little Yachty's nail paints brand that he was coming out with. And these were pens that you would click the polish out and it was supposed to be kind of like a super gender inclusive. I think they were more targeting men, but it was, it was definitely a cool take on something. He has since left, the, I think like six months after he started it, he left and I was just like, oh, okay. So it was a cash grab. Bye, I guess. And then I also have, this is uh, China Glaze's Sauvignon on and on. And I think this is the one where I took a swatch of it the other day and it was like, four coats to get it to opacity it's a cool color and I like the color but it was just like it's a lot to work with it is one of my favorite whites but it you know it just it doesn't look good on me maybe if I got a tan but that that doesn't work okay the next category of polishes that look hideous on me but I love wearing these. Like you will pry these from my cold dead hands you will not take these away from me that is like lighter greens like and what I mean is like the the weird ones the kind of like yucky like Shrek greens you know um so like I said earlier I have I have a bit of like I don't know if it's technically rosacea but like my face is just permanently like blotchy red so probably and if I get warm or like I've been exercising my hands specifically turn blotchy and red as well like just gross and when I wear this tone of green my hands turn that same blotchy red somebody in my comments once called it like lobster hands or something like that and yes exactly that so the types of green I'm talking about are of course one of my favorite polishes Zoya Eunice this is so gross I I, I said this before, I'm on a mission to make everybody in the world buy this polish and have this polish. And then we should all just, you know, do a twin mani together, you know? It's so funny because when I was a kid, I was really self-conscious about like having that, like those red cheeks, that blotchy red face. And people would always make fun of me. They'd be like, oh, she's embarrassed. She's embarrassed. Ha ha. Like whenever they said anything to me, I wasn't embarrassed. I'm like, that's just my face. That's just what I look like, unfortunately. Okay. Like I can't help this. And you know, my brother, my little brother has the same thing. And my mother does too. I think my sister's the only one who ended up avoiding that. And even still, she's got, you know, a little red cheeks, but it's just uh, like, I used to be so embarrassed of it. And I, I don't know what it is now. I'm just like, make me blotchy. I want to be as blotchy as possible. <laughs> Let me wear all these blotchy greens. And so like, this is the one that definitely brings it out. 
But another one in that same vein is Moonshine Manny's Build Me Up Buttercup. This is part of her project Dupe It. It's duping a specific China Glaze polish. I can't remember which one because I never owned it. Um, but yeah, these are definitely like, they go, you know, hand in hand. They're pretty similar. And I just love it. I swear. It's, it's so weird because like, I feel like, you know, you can see a little bit of pink on my hand as it is now, but it's not so obtrusive that you'd be like, wow, she's got pink hands, red hands, weird. But it's like the second I put this on, it's just like my hands are permanently red. They, I just look like a lobster. I look like Mr. Krabs. That's what I look like. The next color is one that like you'd think I would like because I love purples. It's one of my favorite colors. I love almost like anything purple, but there are specific shades of purple that I don't like. One of them is like a royal purple. I just, I don't love that royal purple. I like a jewel purple, but not the darker royal purple. And then I absolutely cannot stand lavender. And when I looked up colors that brunettes should avoid, this was on the list and I was like, good, because I hate wearing it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, I can look like lavender the flower. I'm like, beautiful, cute. Keep doing what you're doing. The the nail polish, the paint color, the, the sweater color, like, no, get it away from me. I'm like, I don't want to look like a giant Easter egg, okay? So I have two here in front of me and I think one of them I would probably reach for more and I do like it, but I just know it looks kind of rough on me. Um, and then the other one, I just, I don't like it. So the one I don't like is Lavender by Holo Taco. It's the cooler kind of, it looks like it's got a little bit of blue in there. I don't know what it is. Like, like I said, it just, it's giving Easter. And I just feel like because it's so light against my skin tone, it just looks a little bit chalky. And so like, Looking at the color, I'm like, this is a fine color. I don't mind the color itself, but on me is when it becomes the problem. And so I don't, I don't know if I'll ever really wear this one very much. Maybe, maybe I'll do an Easter manicure next year and I'll try to incorporate it. But yeah, it's just like this one I don't love. Now the one that I do like, but I still think looks bad on me is Orly's Kaleidoscope Eyes. And probably because this is a like pinkier, I swear this is lavender, right? I don't know what lavender actually is to be honest with you. So maybe I'm just wrong. This is just like one of those like pinky purples. That, to me, like, is that lavender? I guess I don't know. I'm having an existential crisis now. I would wear this, but I think it looks bad on me. And like looking at these, I think that, is there such thing as like a cool tone and a warm tone lavender? Because I'm starting to realize that I don't like the cooler one, but I like the, what I'm assuming might be warmer. I just think brighter is warmer, which is probably just wrong. I don't know anything about color. Why are you listening to me? Um, yeah, that's, we're just going to be done with the lavender section. We're done with that one. And then the last color in the vein of colors that I think looks bad on me, but I wear them anyways, is silvers. I find that silver is just like, it looks a little bit too light on me or maybe like icy in a way. Which is funny because my preference for jewelry and like metals is silver. Like I, ever since I was younger, I've always preferred silver. I've never really loved the way gold looked on me until recently. And I think that the thing that really made me like the way gold looked on me is because my boyfriend bought me a ring that's gold. And I was like, well, now I have to like gold, you know, like I don't have a choice anymore. And then it grew on me and I was like, oh, okay, I do like gold. But I don't know, my preference has always just been like, silvers. I think the reason why silver doesn't look as good on me as gold does is just because it's a lighter color and so it doesn't contrast with my skin as starkly as gold does and maybe that's why I just find that it looks a little bit dull on my nails. So I have two polishes as per usual as per this video to show you and let me just show you before I shake this up but the first one is Essie's No Place Like Chrome they had like a gold, a silver, and like a rose gold or like a coppery metallic. And I think I have all three at this point. But this was the first one I bought because I, at that point in my life, loved, loved, loved metallics. Look at how much of this bottle I have used up. Like clearly I love a good metallic. And then when you shake it up, you can't even tell that it's ever been used. This one looks very, very like uniform on the nails, in my opinion. Some metallics, they can be a little bit streaky. 
Um, but this one, when it dries down, a lot of those lines go away and it looks like one solid little piece of metal on your nail. And that's why I really like this one. But like I said, it's just a little bit too light for my skin tone. It's just like, I don't know. Am I crazy? I, I feel like it looks bad, but somebody's going to tell me it looks great because you guys all love me way too much and you're too nice to me. But somebody reality check me here. And then the other one is, this is Holo Taco's gift receipt. And I pulled this out today to kind of talk about it, but I'm starting to notice something that other people have discussed. And I guess I probably should have checked mine sooner. The Holo Taco, um, like heavy metals collection, or was that what it was called? The, me the, the metal foil ones. I keep calling them the heavy metal collection, but I don't think that's what it is at all. Um, a lot of people have said that they are experiencing discoloration in theirs after they bought theirs at launch. And I didn't really realize it, but, and this could just be because the base separated, but like, look at the color of the base that separated out. It's like a really gross yellow color. Um, I haven't like swatched this out since the last time. So it might be okay and all that, but I know especially the blue one, a lot of people were having issues with, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about silver on my skin. Um, so yeah, like this is, I guess they're, are they similar? No, this one's a little bit lighter even. This one looks more like tin foil, I guess. Um, but yeah, I just find that silvers just don't, they don't mesh well with my skin tone with my hair color and I could be completely off base here but it's just something about it when I wear it I find that I am like looking at my nails more and being like is this okay does this look all right I don't know so yeah so those are the colors that I think look the best and the absolute worst on my particular nails let me know what you guys thought of my color choices. If I was way off base for myself, either on the looks good or looks bad, I need to know. Somebody needs to break that reality to me. Um, and let me know what colors you think look best and worst on you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.